The skies are strange. The Lord of the Rings is back. Set thousands of years before the original trilogy, the new series finds dwarves and elves facing an old evil. If you heard of him, lad, if you heard of Sauron. Coming from Prime Video, an appendage of Amazon, the streaming site spent mightily. Global TV rights alone cost $250 million. Add in over $400 million on the first season plus marketing, and this is a billion dollar bet. If the evil rising is left unchecked. But the business model is different for Amazon. But keep in mind that Amazon doesn't have to make money on Prime Video. It's all about the larger ecosystem that it is playing in. It wants people to have a positive worldview of Amazon as a company. But there are other risks. Two unknown showrunners, a cast of fresh faces, and perhaps the most treacherous element of all, the fans. It was just cool to read about orcs and elves and fantastical battles and magic. Growing up, Christina Warmbrun loved The Lord of the Rings. But when she published an article about racism in the novels, she was bullied offline. From white supremacists, from trolls, you name it, I was getting all sorts of threats. One day this will be your kingdom. She's optimistic since the new series offers a more Everyone. multicultural view of Middle Earth. Everyone must decide who we shall be. Obviously fandoms will be fandoms. Some have their positive reactions, some have their negative reactions. But I think overall it seems really promising. And with the series launching in 240 countries, Fans worldwide will soon be judging it for themselves. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.